Hey everyone, Nick here. Uh, just wanted to show a little bit of the wood firing process we got going on. So I'm gonna camera around and we can see all these wonderful tables full of work. This is uh, some of my work right here. So it's shot glasses, you'll see those clay fest. More tables work, this is a lovely crew making wadding right now. So those, we're gearing up towards loading, which is the inside of this beast of a kiln. Just getting the first post in. Yeah, uh, this kiln holds about 700 to 900 pots in here, depending on the size and the scale of the work. So we're just gearing up to get it loaded. Figured I'd show you all the process. All right. All right. It's day two of load or day three of loading. We uh, let me turn around. Lots of less work on the table. Say what's up, Chris. Find his work that here as well. Lots of lots of work already in the kiln. You know, lots of hands on deck. It's a big group effort. Let's go take a peek. See over here. Whoa, yeah. Kylie loading, hard working in there. Sweet. What are we doing? Yeah, got this heady Chris Long Cup. Find it at Clay Fest. Going in. <laughs> we putting the finishing touches on here. Last few pots are going right there. We got a full ass kiln. There's Chris Long catching my clay fest. Hey. <laughs> going damn. We... Mark, how many pots are in here? <laughs> many. <laughs> Sup, peeps? It is about midnight. Um, we just finished loading, so I figured I'd turn the camera around. So that's this big steel lids on this chain and it just kind of drops down and that allows us to kind of get in there and load so you know got the lid on go around see the firebox you know that was three days of loading this is our little, little firebox action this is where we stoked you know chimney in the back there so about three days of loading of at least minimum eight people here, so that's three seriously big labor involvement of eight people at a time, working eight hour days. You know, the firing is going to be about 44 hours, and uh, yeah, should get some good results. Turn it around, show you this wood pile we got going on. You know, I don't really know exactly how many cores of wood this is, but I'll show a, I'll show a after the firing pick, and we kind of see how, how depleted it looks. So, like I said, you know, it's midnight. I've been here since 8 a.m. I'm beat as hell. I, uh, gonna go take a, take a nap. I gotta get up at 6 a.m. to start this. So I will see you guys there, and I'll show you how we start. Hey. Well, it's about 6 a.m., maybe 6.30, and I uh, just wanted to show, got the fire on. So, this is the back. This is in the chimney. So, I'm just starting this fire in the back first, and this will help with my draw when I go to, like, the one in the front. So, yeah, that's ripping. I'm going to go start the one in the front. Hey, everyone, back here. All right, I want to flip this camera around, guys. So, you know, this is the front. There's the chimney. So this is this is going to be how we stoke later up on these grates. But to start, we start down low here and kind of put it through this little hole, and then we'll just kind of slowly transition to to going up there. So these are our air hole ports and uh, kind of. How I either, you know, plug these or open them up. It's going to affect the draw. So I'm just kind of keeping though. I mean, right now I'm trying to, my chimney's not hot yet. So I really need as much airflow as I can until my chimney gets heat and it starts pulling on its own. So get a little shot from this side. This is all the work. You know, I don't know if you remember all the tables out here, but this is all the work that's left. So at eight, quite a substantial amount of work. So, all right, give you an update in a bit. Now it's light out, it's a few hours later. Uh, I think it's about 11 o'clock. 
we uh, let me show you what the box looks like now. So ripping and roaring down here compared to what we were, and we're getting started putting the first pieces of wood up here. So that's starting to burn. So now we're just trying to kind of work on getting the draft from kind of you know it's gonna go right now. It's just going kind of straight down below from those bricks. So we want to try to kind of get reorganize our draft coming from the top there. We got our uh, parameter right here. So we got about 4:30 in the front. That uh, says 83 in the back, but um, I think our parameter is wildly inaccurate right now. I'm just more than looking for any sort of climb. So uh, yeah, that's that. Uh, about to finish up my shift here. It's about 11 in the afternoon. Been uh, been been kind of grinding since about midnight last night, maybe one. So I'm about to get out of here. Got it in trusty hands. Here. We got our uh, we got some cone nines down. We're just we're just hanging out. It's getting hot. All right. Next next clip is gonna be the super glow. What's up, everybody? It's about four in the morning here. I uh, just got kind of got here a couple hours ago. We are cruising through body reduction. You know, we got our O tens cones down and some tunes going, some twos going. So we're ready. We're probably about you know 17 to 2,000 degrees, give or take 100 degrees. So that I'd show you kind of inside that I'm talking about. So. I don't know how well that's going to translate into. Yeah. That's... Oh yeah, there you can kind of see our cone packs there. Let's see what we can see later. We got we got our two going up front. Oh yeah, you can see that better. That's a better re representation. So that is our two cone two and cone six up in the front. And then that is our 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 in the back row. So that's kind of how we know our temperature and when to stop. Or... All right, what's up, Texas Clay Festival? My name's Nick Fletcher. I'm here to talk to you all about wood-fired pottery. First, I'm going to show you something real quick. You see this? That's the heat. You see that heat? Woo! I ain't seen that kind of heat since the last time I was at a fish concert. And boy, I tell you, there's some goddamn heat at a fish concert. Well, uh, basically what reduction is, is there's more fuel than oxygen currently in the majority of the kiln right now. There might be some pockets of oxidized, there might be some, you know, that micro pockets, that kind of happens. But basically I have, I have pushed in the damper here. You know, we have two dampers in the back. Let's see if I can, one on each side. So this is the one on this side. We got one on this side. So I'm pushing those in, kind of really getting as little draft as I can get away with while maintaining efficient combustion in the fuel box. That's just kind of slowing all the flames down, all the fuel is hanging in there a little bit longer, and uh, just take, you know, giving an opportunity for less oxygen to get in the mix. So that's where we're at now. Um, things are getting excited, it's all getting glowing, cones are moving, so we're kind of in the thick of it right now. We'll uh, check back in later, peace. What's up everybody, I am back at the kiln. It, they have, it's about 4 p.m. now. They've been fucking crushing it since I left. We got cone 9's down, cone 10's down, 11's down, 12's down. So we're getting real close. We're just kind of trying to hold here as long as we can for our 13's get questionably puddled. But uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're pretty close. We're there. Wide spread. Yeah, this yeah. First. Oh yeah. A little correction. That's yeah, bending that way kind of too. That one working? Yeah. Boom. It's better. Yeah. 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 Here it is. Woo, woo, woo. Yeah. Woo, woo, woo. Oh. Oh. Number 20. Yeah. All right. These all need to be in. <laughs>